I will start this video with a strong hook and a compelling elevator sales pitch. This is a collection of useless Vim tips. They won't make you any faster, they won't improve your workflow, but somehow they do exist. And now, so does this video. I'm surprised you clicked on it, honestly. If this is not a good enough reason to stick around till the end, I don't know what is. Did you know that Vim has a built-in encryption command? That's right, we can type G question mark and then capital G to apply it to the entire file and this encodes with a ROT13 algorithm the entire text in our file. Now ROT13 is not a very secure algorithm, it basically just shifts each character by 13 positions in the alphabet. But actually this is of course extremely useful. Let's say you're looking at some spicy waifu character art in your terminal and a coworker walks in on you, then you can just quickly rot 13 and code everything and he will never know what you just looked at. However, it doesn't work on special characters, so keep that in mind if you're using it for that use case. The next tip is one of the reasons I love working with Vim so much. If you type the smile command, you will get this smiley. But this only works in regular Vim. In NeoVim, if you type the smile command, you get nope, we didn't implement that. And then you get this picture of a park or whatever that's supposed to be. So the NeoVim devs basically said, we don't keep any silly commands around here, but here's a silly thing anyway. And I just love easter eggs like this, because it makes NeoVim and Vim feel like they were made by other human beings with a sense of humor and not a soulless corporation. In the Vim manual you can find a lot more easter eggs like this. It becomes very clear that Bram, the original creator of Vim, was a huge fan of Monty Python and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. For example, if we check the help menu for the number 42, we get this. What's the meaning of life, the universe and everything? 42. And this is of course a reference to the movie Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Similarly, we can check the help menu for Holy Grail and we get a similar reference. You found it, Arthur. And he even implemented the ni command. So if you type ni exclamation mark, you get do you demand the shrubbery. This refers to the Knights of Ni from the movie Monty Python. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to this scene in the description box down below. The next one can also be found in the help menu. Let's check the help for the pipe operator and then we can see an explanation and a French sentence. I'm probably gonna butcher this, so French people in the comments let me know how I did. Ce n'est pas une pipe. This refers to a very famous painting, and it's actually one of my favorite paintings. The painting is a critique on how art and language trick us. The painting is not the object, words aren't reality, they are abstractions, symbols that point to objects, and as humans we are wired to confuse the two. So this painting forces us to confront this absurdity. A pipe that isn't a pipe, a truth that isn't what you thought. So that's how deep the Vim help menu gets. So we've been using the help menu quite extensively at this point, but sometimes we really need help and then we might type something like help with an exclamation mark and we are really losing it. And then Vim reminds us, don't panic. So it's very nice that the creators of Vim thought about our mental health when they were building the application. The next tip only works in NeoVim because it's an easter egg that is hidden in the telescope plugin. If you are a big astrology enthusiast, you probably always wanted to see planets directly from your NeoVim configuration. The good news is, Telescope actually provides a feature for that. Just type Telescope Planets. So you have the Earth here, the Jupiter, Mars, Mercury and all the other planets in our Milky Way galaxy. So there's no need to buy an actual telescope, you can directly see them from your NeoVim configuration. The last tip can be found in the help menu again. Let's check help menu for user getting bored. And you can see there's actually an auto command for it when the user presses the same key 42 times, but just kidding. I actually tested this and nothing happened when I pressed the same key 42 times, but luckily someone built a plugin for this functionality. We have here the user getting bored plugin and it has 42 stars. I don't know if that's a coincidence, but I think it deserves way more stars. And the way this works is you type the same character or the press, you press the same key 42 times and then you will have Samuel L. Jackson himself appear in your Vim configuration. Now if that's not a banger feature, I don't know what is. That's it for today. Cheers!